I was fixated on your earlobes for most of the class. So my nano computer lesson was dull. <laughs> that my eyes were even open in media immersion is a testament to you. Stop worrying, okay? I'm being graded on how well I hold a class tomorrow. It's scary. You guys are scary. <laughs> Marco's not scary. Marco's afraid of bees. And Heather Sinclair, not scary. Unless maybe you see her in our granny panties after gym. There's also the tiny fact that you are a phenomenal teacher. So please, fear not. You're sweet. And not just because you made lemon squares. Park. Great romance idea, hon. Poor kid's being blinded by the glare of his dad's legs. Can you say whiter than white? Yeah, Simpson. Oh, my god. He didn't see us. No way. make it in time for this. Paige skips practice again. Let's go with the 3-4-3 three, three start, ready for a right herky jump. OK, let's go. Just so you know, I'm not cool with you taking over. Paige won't care. She's too wrapped up in Matt to even notice. It's a crush. No big thing. You don't have to lie. Paige told me about her hot after school affair. Oops, and did it again. All right, guys, let's get it together. Let's discuss how the cigarette ad tries to manipulate us. Anyone? Emma, let's hear it. Okay, well, I think it's aimed at a female demographic. And I think the tobacco companies are trying to tell us that healthy women can smoke because she's hiking or whatever. Good. Now, in terms of subtler messaging, like, where is she or where is she going? I'm less sure. <laughs> Probably to the ravine. <laughs> That's enough, Mr. Sharp. What isn't the ad showing us, Emma? Anything negative. Um lung cancer, emphysema, stroke. Gonorrhea. OK, see me after class. We'll have a lesson on respect. Thank you, Mr. Oleander. OK, moving on. What's the demographic of smokers within the age? Nanotech is finally winning the respect it deserves as a science. Paige. A few years ago, Paige. this was just a fantasy Shh, for Mr. Oleander science is fiction teaching. novels and movies. However, is today, your scientists best friend? are developing technology okay, that can might we one deal day with whatever your reality. problem is later, green eyed hazel monster? Hazel. Can I have your attention, please? Now, she spilled. I'm sure you've all heard of but the, you the idea of tiny You do know that you can be secrecy nanomals. challenged sometimes, right? Into the How could you not tell me? Hazel. Hi. Didn't you hear me? Gee, Mr. Oleander, I thought you only had eyes for Paige. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. I've just, um, just lost my, lost my place. Um, Hollywood is seized on nanotech lately. Um, can anyone name a movie about self-replicating machines? Anyone? Sheila told you 
me, if you put lots of ketchup on your fries, the tomato acid burns the carbs right away. She's a cafeteria lady. Ever think she's trying to get you to buy more fries? Em, what's wrong with your eyes? I'm trying to kill Chris with my mind. Oh, goody. Then you can get Spinner, Jay, Craig, JT, Nate, and John. Here's me wishing I let my dad talk me into an all-girls school. <laughs> no joke. Are you all right? <sighs> Honey, you can't let him upset you like that. He's just one doof. No, it's all the guys judging constantly. Mmm, deep-fried starch. Is he not the yummiest thing you ever saw? And um, what are you doing this weekend? Nothing. How about the girls and I come over and we'll have the girliest spa weekend ever? Zero testosterone. Hello? Is anyone free to console his sister this weekend? Absolutely, we're there for you. I am so, so, so sorry. Teenagers are evil. Can't go back in there and teach two more periods. What Hazel did, it was juvenile and hateful and humiliating. I promise you, nothing like it will ever happen again, ever. I don't want to get booted out of teacher's college. I can't. You won't. I won't let you. Sorry, Madame Paget. Uh, Excusez-moi. Happy weekend, Paige. Why, thanks, Manny, and thanks for taking my practice this morning. You want me to thank you? For what? Dropping a dirty bomb on my life? Practice went awesome without you, and if you ask some of us, that wasn't a coincidence. You told Hazel when you swore that you wouldn't. I thought she knew, okay? Chill. Don't use your outdated slang on me. I doubt that your mouth is even connected to your tiny, shriveled, boy-obsessed brain. I'm the dumb one. Who still hasn't figured out not to chase older guys? Guy's so out of her league, it's not funny. It's big words for a girl who picks up my leftovers. Could you be more self-obsessed? All you think about is your own butt, which probably does require a lot of thought, given that it's you. Do you want to touch me tonight? Do you want to get me tonight? Good luck catching me tonight. I'm a bad manager. Make a baby, please. Ha, well, don't you come to me. I'm going to move that bus Yeah, you're too big me. Calm down. Hey, Mr. Pedophile. I mean, Oleander. Don't make your girlfriend Paige even more jealous of me. Manny, my office Monday. Paige, Mr. Oleander, now. All right, everyone. School's out. Go home. Show's over. Now. I said now. The whole world is gonna hate me if I get him fired. You're in love. What were you supposed to do? Abstain from contact with male humans. Seeing as how I'm Paige, the Bermuda Triangle of love. Hi, I'm Hazel. Just who you wanna see. Wow, she's not just an evil backstabber. She's kinda witty, too. Paige, I'm so sorry. You were right. I am secrecy challenged. At least you didn't call him a pedophile. Paige? Well, this was a rather upsetting day. Manny Santos is a liar, okay? She lies. Nothing ever happened between you and Mr. Oleander? That would be wrong. He was tutoring me, and that's all. Mr. Simpson has already left for the day, as has Mr. Oleander's advisor. And frankly, I'm less than comfortable discussing this without one of your parents being here. 
Is that totally needed? We're all gonna meet Monday at eight. But I think I should warn you, there's a pretty big discrepancy in your reports. Reports? Mm. Takes on the situation. Mr. Oleander has a very different one. He told me that you were obsessed with him, that you followed him, you wouldn't leave him alone. You stalked him. Hold this right on the scratches. More mocktails coming right up. So, Paige basically fights you because of a guy? Paige basically fights me because she's a psycho wench. She fought you because guys are always turning women against each other. Well, that's true. I'd rather be the way we are now. No guys, no judging, no upset. I like that we don't have to worry about being pretty. Just us. Let's declare the revolution begun. <laughs> to heck with guys. What's up, girls? Chester's your neighbor? He just moved in. So? You're looking a little green. Where are you going? I am just figuring. Having a slumber party, Emmeline. Hi. Hi, you're just gonna say hi. Look, I tried calling, you weren't picking up your phone. I'm glad you came over. Gee, why didn't I put a microphone in my bra? That's such a, a novice, psycho, stalker mistake. I know you're upset. Me too. No, I'm not. I'm livid, boiling, pissed beyond all recognition. Can we talk about this? You have three minutes. Paige, you know what this job means to me. And you, you know what school means to me. I'm waiting for the us part. Us? I... I figured we'd leave time for it to blow over, and when it's summer, we're home free. And in the meantime, I get, what, expelled? Referred to as that sad, desperate loony who stalks TAs? I didn't know what else to say. Please, you wanted to look like the good guy. Don't kid yourself. OK, Paige, you had a public fight with Manny Santos after promising me nothing else would be said. She was really mean. Why am I doing this? My entire future is on the line. Em's taking dibs on all the good t-shirts. She must be stopped. They don't seem too concerned with their tie-dye prospects at the moment. Chester's better come out soon. It's a 15 minute shoes, Max. This is supposed to be about us. Boy was fun, remember? Yo, a movement. Oh my god. Yeah. There's three of him. Multiple okay. adorable Chesters. Emma, I'm sorry, but it's the call of the wild. Hey, Chester, and coffees hit me. Oh, <laughs> oh nice one. Why did you do that? No sense of humor. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> he is so gonna regret that. You know, fake cheese is one ingredient away from being plastic. Oh, just like Manny Santos. Mr. O's the one you should be mad at. That wasn't exactly a Prince Charming move. Yeah, except what if I kind of miss him already? Is that bad? Shoot me. Drown me in fake cheese. It's not that bad. And hey, now you know he's human, not some yoga body teacher god. Is this a coffee clutch or a workplace? Because it sure ain't a self-serve. Those things are customers. Welcome to my nightmare combo. Where is he? Dylan's feeling all macho about the whole math thing, sorry. No one takes advantage of you like that, OK? You're my sister. Uh, I'm working, OK, Hulk? Shh. 
The guy's a predator. He's like the same age as you. Are you preying on Marco? Matt's not perfect. He's just... Just disgusting. Just wonderful. And sweet and fun. And he put everything on the line for me. I'm such a jerk. going to be so grossed out. Okay, hold the ladder steady. There's no time. Please. Manny. We are woman here as roar, Chester. Monday, um, I'll go along with it, with their story. I lost my temper with Manny. Michael checks, we have tempers. <sighs> Bitch. You can't lose your entire life, not just for kissing some selfish high school chick. Can't happen. I, uh, I don't know what to say. Please don't say anything. Just try and look cute on Monday so it all feels like it was worth it. H. There's no strings attached. There's no strings with this. I don't need my parents to protect me. I'm only telling the truth. I was inappropriate with Mr. Oleander and I'd like to transfer out of his class immediately. It's the only media immersion class offered in grade 11. You will fail the course. So I'll repeat it next year. Every grade 12 credit is taken page for university applications. Well, then maybe I should just transfer schools entirely now. It's May. Transferring so late, chances are you can't complete the academic year. You will fail entirely. Have you really thought this through? You should be getting set for university, not acting like you're in kindergarten. Mr. Simpson. I'm sorry, but I'm not behind what she's selling. Anything I saw didn't look too one-sided. You saw something? Leave it, sir. Please leave it. No, I can't. I trusted you with my kids. My kids trusted you, including her. Please stop it. Can we just stop? Students often have feelings for their teachers. You just took your feelings too far. We can help. OK, I'm not going to sit here and watch this. I don't care if I fail. Can we just finish this now, please? Daphne, whose side are we on, huh? The students or the teachers? I need to know what you saw, Archie. How can I make a decision if I don't know what you saw? We ha There's a lot at stake here. We had a relationship. What are you doing? We've seen each other outside of school. It shouldn't have happened. I take full responsibility. Ho, ho, ho! You can't label people. Whoa, I, I thought it was Christmas. How was jail? I only got a warning. Uh, sadly, uh, I got another warning about Chuck and Chad. About who? My brothers. 
They're plotting their revenge. So your names are Chester, Chuck, and Chad. Consider me your mole behind enemy lines two doors down. I'll keep you posted. OK, thanks. I appreciate it. I can't believe you did that. And that makes two of us. You doing OK? Well, I can stay in the BA program, but uh, teacher's college is done. Well, maybe I could call your school, tell them it was my fault or something. I think we've learned that really doesn't work. I want you to know, you would have been worth losing my year over. Except I wouldn't have been worth very much if I let you do that. And I wouldn't have let you do it. You know that, right? Not because of guilt or me being a gentleman or... Matt, I know. <sighs> Guess the good news is, doesn't matter who sees us in the park. Yeah. That is the good news.